Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Soto, and today I'm going to talk about uh, porcelain veneer treatment. This patient came in because they had concerns that her teeth were flat and short. Uh, she has a habit of grinding her teeth, and over time her teeth have shortened. Um, so what we can see here is that pretty much all the front teeth, they are about the same length, and that's not typically found in a natural smile. Um, typically we see that all the teeth are a bit longer, and uh, usually we have pointed, longer canines. Um, lateral incisors are usually, uh, they're, they're still shorter than the other teeth, but uh, they are more rounded in shape. And same thing with the central incisors. They're usually not flat. They're definitely more rounded. Um, so we can improve upon all of these with porcelain veneers. Now the first thing that we're going to do is uh, do what's called a veneer mock-up, where I will take composite filling materials, basically a, a tooth colored plastic, and I'll just add it to the edges of the front teeth. Um, this is a short, uh, short procedure, only takes about 10 or 20 minutes, and uh, this really gives us an idea of what we can do. It lets the patient see very quickly um, if, they, if they want to have their teeth lengthened, uh, what the veneer's sh uh, final shape may look like, um, and uh, if the patient wants to move forward with that, then what we'll do is uh, we'll create a wax model of their teeth, and we'll look at that next. So this is a, a wax model of the teeth. What I'll do is uh, take an impression of the top teeth, send that to a dental laboratory, and uh, we'll send them lots of information because uh, from that, that plastic uh, mock-up that we did uh, in the mouth, we'll, just, we'll decide on shapes of the teeth and the proper lengths of the teeth. We'll give that information to the laboratory and they'll give us this model back. And again, we can see that the teeth are, uh, are obviously longer and they have uh, different shapes to them. And um, we ended up going with eight teeth here. So we're starting back here at the premolar. We wanted these teeth to be perfectly parallel with one another. Uh, the patient can take a look at this. I can take a look at this. And we're going to use this as a blueprint for our final uh, and our temporary and final veneers. So these are the temporary veneers. So I'll talk about the process of, of veneers. So the whole process usually takes two to three weeks. Now that when the patient comes in for the preparation of her veneers, um, we'll prepare the teeth, we'll send, take an impression, send that to a laboratory so they can start working on the veneers. Um, and in the meantime, she'll be wearing temporary plastic veneers. Now these, uh, these are only plastic, so they can be shaped and contoured. Uh, I usually have the patient come back uh, in about three days. That way we can uh, change the shape if she'd like to. Uh, she can go home and talk to her family and friends and decide whether or not this is what she really likes. Um, also we'll decide on the color because I usually will make this a, a lighter shade of teeth and then they can decide whether or not they want to have their teeth even lighter or darker. Uh, so, so not everything has to be decided on that, that first day. Um, so you'll see in the final veneers that we did change things just a bit because again this is plastic. I think we decided to make the lateral incisors just a little longer and maybe flatten flattened out the uh, central incisors so they're not so rounded. Now these are the final veneers. Now these are all porcelain veneers. It's a, made out of a very durable, very strong porcelain, um, and they look fantastic. The uh, we, we achieved our goals, we lengthened the teeth, we um, have different lengths to the teeth and, and the proper shape so things aren't flat, doesn't look like she's ground down her teeth. Um, the canines are more, uh, well they're, they're still kind of rounded but they're pointy like a, like a canine typically is. Um, and uh, the, the teeth are parallel which is the, uh, the look we were going for. Um, the laboratory did a very good job here. Now, you definitely want to make sure that if you're getting veneers done, you need to work with a very high quality laboratory, a laboratory that knows um, aesthetics. So uh, you can see that there's light that plays off of the teeth and off of the veneers, and that's done on purpose. They're, these teeth are not flat. They have uh, specific contours to them and grooves that allow the light to play off of them. Um, the edges of the teeth are a little darker, and that's because the natural teeth have translucency to them and uh, it allows us to see a little the shadow of the back of the mouth. Um, the, the line of the lip here, the curve of the lip, um, matches the edges of the teeth so we, we want to make the veneers match that lip. It's just a feature that we see in, in attractive smiles uh, and, and you know your, your dentist and your 
dental lab, they need to know all these, these uh, key features for making a beautiful set of veneers. Um, if you have any questions about veneers or if you're interested in, in having set of veneers or even just a consultation, please give our office a call. It's 415-398-8555 and we are located in San Francisco, right in Union Square. The, uh, our website is sfveneer.com and that has lots of before and after uh, photos of, of other patients who have had veneers. So um, we'd be happy to meet you and, and discuss dental veneers with you. Thank you very much.